Hey guys, welcome back to The Takedown with Cliff Schechter. We're going to be talking a little bit about Doug Mastriano today. You may know Dougie. He is the GOP nominee for governor that nobody wanted to be the GOP nominee for governor, including Republicans, because he has a long history of being a racist, anti-Semite, really stupid person and making it all public, unlike many Republicans. That's actually not true. I don't say many are smart enough to keep it quiet. In the past, that's true. (laughs) He's got some competition, but he's really like, he's got the Olympic gold medal for anti-Semitism. He's going out of his way and, um, you know, maybe deserves some kudos there. Um, Stephen Colbert probably summed it up best and really sort of in a simplistic way. Sometimes fewer words are better. I keep trying to tell myself that when he said the other night about why Mastriano is down 10 points. Um, to um, Attorney General Shapiro, who's running against him on the Democratic side, who we're all rooting for. Um, Colbert summed it up thusly. He sucks. And indeed, he does. Um, Among the ways that he sucks, let me quote Colbert here, because it's great. He attended the January 6th riot. Sure did. Has a longstanding association with Christian nationalist ideas. Proposed charging women who violate an abortion ban with murder. Yeah, he did that a couple years ago and that just came out. Is connected to a social media site run by a notorious anti-Semite and was photographed wearing a Confederate uniform. He's sort of like a combination of like Louis Gobert, Christy Hyde Smith, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump. Like he's like all rolled up into one. It's sort of impressive um, how ludicrous this guy is. Um, He's, again, he's down by 10 points. It doesn't mean you should ever get cocky. They're going to try to steal as many votes as they can. Everybody go out and vote. Everybody support Shapiro. But in the end, Mastriano is sort of just kind of, he's shown what we've seen in many other states, which is when they go to that fringe edge, um, they start losing all sorts of independents and Republicans, um, and they start crashing in the polls, particularly after you've gotten rid of Dobbs, and, and you're now saying you're going to hold women you're going to charge them with murder. That's good. That's a good way to get the suburban women to vote for you. Um, the Gab thing is really the, one of the most disturbing ones. Gab is where um, the owner, whose last name Torka, I believe it is, some jackass, um, he is has come out again and again and said that Jews can't be part of their coalition. He's even attacked Ben Shapiro and others, which I have no sympathy for Ben Shapiro. So too bad. You joined them. But the point is, is that he's made it clear that he's referred to Jews as money changers and trash and these kinds of things. I don't have the exact quotes in front of me, but um, all of the sort of notorious, stereoty- notorious stereotypes. And of course, we killed Jesus too, even though I have an alibi and was at least a couple miles away having a beer at the time. Um, so what do you do when you find that out about somebody? You know, do you know that their site was... Was, was was awfully anti-Semitic, and then you find out the guy who went and murdered innocent people at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, in your state, was a frequent Gab user and frequently posted anti-Semitic rantings and then went and committed murder, uh, mass murder. Well, in Doug Mastriano's case, that was a sign that he should hire <laughs> Gab. Um, he should pay Gab, hire the, the, the guy, the owner, to, of course, um, be a consultant and join Gab and run ads there and make it an important part of his campaign. Weirdly, and thankfully, turns out the majority of Pennsylvanians thought that joining the site that had helped inspire somebody to go kill a bunch of people while they're in a temple was a bad idea. Um, so really, there's the, the best way to sum this up is the way Stephen Colbert summed it up. It looks like we're going to win. Everybody's still... This guy is as fascist, fascist is as fascist does, and he's as fascist as it gets. Um, he even has that sort of look, you know, domed head. I'm sure he'll grow the little mustache at some point soon. But at this point in time, um, everybody does their part, he will lose. And why is that? He sucks. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, this is the takedown, not the countdown, like I said by mistake the other day. A long time ago, I was on that show. Um, this is the Take Down with Cliff Schechter. Please subscribe. Um, turn on your notifications. You know, make sure to like and to share with friends. And we'll be back again soon. Thanks.